Hi everyone, today I'm making another card with the Best Catch stamp set. I really like this stamp set. We have so many um, pretty and florally stamps that it's nice to have something a little different and I think this one really fits the bill for my family. I have a brother who enjoys all things outdoors and fishing accents and elements are perfect for him. And so I made this card for his birthday and I showed it on another video. And um, in doing so, I made a couple different versions because I have this one that says Dad, and I did another one that said Happy Birthday for him. And I had to cut out all these little rectangles. And I also did this at a stamp camp with um, 20 people, so I had a lot of these rectangle cutout pieces with the fun stitching around them. And I thought I needed to come up with a way to use these. So I have a second version of the Best Catch card. It's a little more simple. If you want to see this one, it's a trifold. There's a video just for this. But this video is going to focus on the simple card and coloring the fish. On the other one, I sped up the coloring of the fish. I think I went through it kind of fast because I was just trying to show the trifold part of the card. And this one, we're going to really focus on coloring in the fish. And on the inside, I put a little fly. Um, I wanted to leave the inside blank on some of these because um, I'm not sure what I want to use it for. It would be great for um, a retirement card or just a thinking of you. Um, I did make one that says, you're the best catch ever. Maybe I'll give that to my husband. Uh, anyway, so this is the card we're going to work on here, and I want to focus on coloring this fish. So a lot of stuff I've already got pre-done. For example, I already have these little things. So I made these with the stitched rectangle framelits, and you can see those on my blog if you haven't seen them already. And I've got extra things cut out from the other card. I've got this little basket and some weeds. So all we really need is the fish. So I'm using my aqua painters. I love any time I get to use my aqua painters. And I'm using three colors. Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst, and Tranquil Tide. Now I'm going to start with the Lemon Lime Twist. I like to get ink in the lid so I squeeze it. You can't really do that with the new style ink pads that come out. So um, another way you can do it is uh, sometimes I just take a block, such as this one, and I press it down into my stamp pad and I color right from there. Or you can take it and then push it into your lid and kind of transfer ink into your lid that way. Okay, so I'm using an aqua painter. I love these. They have a little bit of water in the barrel and you just squeeze slightly to get the tip wet and just start painting. So I'm using the lemon lime twist first because I want to do the center and then I'm going to blend towards that center. So I'm going to just add... Now this is a pretty light shade, so I don't have to be too careful. I'll talk about um, being careful when we get to the Tranquil Tide. Now you can get darks and light shades with your ink just based on how much water you use. So if you want just a little bit, a little light wash, you can see I got a little darker here. Um, you can go into an area where there's more water and lighten it up or go kind of closer to a straight ink for a darker. Another thing I want to show you is what I do in between colors. You just need to squeeze the barrel a little bit some water will drip out, which kind of rinses your brush, and then I go like this on a stamping scrub to clean that color off. You don't have to have a cup of water near you to use the aqua painter, which is another nice thing. So I'm going to go to my next color. I'm going to use the Berry Burst. Now I want this to be pretty light, so I'm going to have a lot of water. I'll add some to my lid. Now this is water-based ink, so it's you don't have to worry about ruining your ink. Of course, you don't want to dump a ton of water in here, but um, adding a little bit of water to your lid is not going to hurt your ink pads, which is nice. Something I should mention, I stamped these fish before the video, beforehand, so I want to make sure that you know, like, that's too dark. I don't like that one. I want you to know that um, I used stays on ink because it's um, waterproof. So you can go like this with your water aqua painter, and those little images not going to smear. 
sometimes your brush might get a little too wet, so you can just kind of swipe it on your paper or go back over it on your stamp and scrub, however you like. I thought the inside of the fish's mouth should be a little bit darker. Yeah. So that's it for berry burst. And tranquil tide is last. I kind of start light to dark is what I normally do. I'm going to work up an area with water on the side. And I want to do a light wash first, kind of going over the whole fish. Well, or at least the areas I want to be this color. I'm going to go over it a second time, dipping into the away from the water, and I want to add some darkness to the ridge line of his back. Find this fin a little bit. And you can let the stamp kind of tell you where you want to add those dark parts, like you can see where the shadows are on the image, at least on this particular image. Now I'm going to go add some darker details to the fin here. Now I want to show you the die that cuts out this fish. It's really fun. When you buy the stamp set and the die together, you're going to get a 10% discount on the bundle, which is nice. And the dies for this are really fun. Let's finish up this little fin here. I'm not going to do the next one. Well, I will, but not on film. You've seen enough, right? Okay, so 
So this one's not so good. I let out here, but this one I like. And let me show you that die. So the die collection is really fun. You've got uh, dies for a lot of the stamps, such as the hat and the basket and the fisherman and the fish. But then you've got these extra dies too. You've got a smaller version of the fly, the stamped one. Where's my stamp set again? Here we go. So you've got cutouts for all the images. But then you've also got some extras. I love the little weeds here and these two fish and this additional fly. And they're really fun. I've used um, the weeds on this one and the little fish on here and the smaller fly. So it's a really fun stamp set. I love the dies and stamps together. Um, if you've got the frog during celebration, that frog stamp set, a lot of people were putting the frog in front of these little weeds. Real cute. Anyway, lots of cute stuff here. But this fish die is really special. And you see this is covered, so you want to look at a few parts of the die when you line it up. Kind of look at that notch for the mouth and look at the tail and make sure those are where they're supposed to be. You can kind of see in here too and then trust that this is where it's going to be. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all popped out. Okay, here it is. So you can see that it's a die, but look what happens. One of the little fins pops out. So I kind of take my fingernail and run it behind it to give it a little curl. This one pops out as well. Like so. Really fun. And now let's put that card together. So I've got my inside already in there. And all we're going to do is we're going to layer some of these little extra square element, rectangle elements that I have. So this is stamped with the crackle background stamp from the Occasions Kellogg. That's another great one. I love background stamps. And the crackle one is just a really great one to add to your collection. If you're thinking about putting it in another order, think about doing it pretty soon during celebration because then you can choose a free product from the celebration catalog with every $50 that you spend. So maybe you like the stitched rectangles like I do <laughs> or um, the crackle background, things like that. Okay, now this is also made with a sti stitched rectangle framework, so I just added one size and then went in a size. And we're going to use the foam strips to put this down. These were a great addition to our adhesive collection. Now I didn't go down here because I'm going to tuck the weeds under there. There, so I've got all my stitched rectangles layered together. And then I'm going to take this little grouping of weeds, cattails, and put those down. I use some of the mini dimensionals behind the skinnier parts, and then one large one down here. Adhesives are another great thing to stock up on during celebration. Celebration ends March 31st, so we've only got a couple more days. So see, I'm going to tuck that down under there and have it go on top of the frame. Kind of fun that way. Now I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of the fish. And again, you want to kind of look where you want to put these. Um, when you watercolor, the paper, the cardstock tends to curl a little bit. So this, put a little extra more than you normally would because it's going to help that fish kind of stay flatter. I think it's a rainbow trout. We had a discussion about this on a different blog post <laughs> or Facebook post. I have a Facebook idea sharing group where you're able to post things that you've made, which is kind of nice, as opposed to my Facebook business page where only I can post. I thought starting a group would be fun because then um, everybody can post and chit chat and it's really a great thing. It's called Best Idea Sharing Group. It's new, so I hope you join it. There's a few members already there. It's on Facebook, Beth's Paper Cuts Idea Sharing Group. Now, how I do the twine, it's linen thread actually, and how I put it down is I just add a little adhesive here. And you can use liquid adhesive or glue dots, whatever your favorite is. I still have some Fast Fuse left from when we sold Fast Fuse, so I'm using that. Sad to see it go. Now, I just kind of put the adhesive down. So you can use Snail, like I said, or Tombow, whatever you want to use. And... I just kind of go back and forth. Oop, I'm at the end of my thread here. Let's see if I have enough. 
Ooh, just barely. I think that'll be enough. Okay, so I kind of looped it around, and then I'm going to add this basket right on top, and I want to add a lot of adhesive here. And again, you can use your favorites. And that's going to help keep that linen thread down, like so. So there is my card, and you can put any kind of greeting in here. A birthday would be great, retirement, anything you, you uh, have a need for. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy coloring with your fish and your aqua painters and this fun dye. And if you want to check out the trifold card, go ahead back a couple days in my videos, and you'll see the best catch trifold card. That was a fun one. And it also has that little fish. It was on my desk, and now it's gone, or I'd show it to you again. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye.